Hello everybody, I'm, I'm the Zenusaur and welcome to Hogwarts Legacy. The voices are already starting to creep into my head! Well anyway, <clears throat> we're here for our first flying lesson. Which actually is one of the most fun parts of the game. Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started! Oh. How are you muffled if you were behind me? Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Boo. Not a fan, I take it? Not a now, fan, I take it. Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom, say up firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up, 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 you stupid ratty school broom. Use the force. Hop. It's because I'm a Jedi. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. Oh, uh, better follow the example. <clears throat> Ooh. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Time for the fun part. Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. <laughs> the brooms are this school is property. I want them Wish returned in broom. one piece. Easy enough. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? All right. This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! <laughs> Hello! Nice day for a flight! Huh! That wasn't too bad! Woohoo! Oh man. Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. I know, I was roughly looking forward to that. But I don't think they had the budget for sequels. Whoa, our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. <gasps> yeah, I forget that that's a thing sometimes. And I was diving in there not too long ago. Ha! Good. I've got this. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Hufflepuff like you might be interested in some high-flying fun? <sighs> Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. 
Let's hope the headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. Ha <laughs> ha! Now that's more like it! You sure you're not part Hippogriff? There's the famous bridge! Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it! And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. All the fun. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Let's hurry back. If I get close to the ground, the speed burst is infinite. Looks like she's already dismissed class. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Woo. And where have you two <clears throat> been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Right. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Aha! Still get brownie points, even though I lost house points. Ouch. <clears throat> I don't even know what the points Sorry do Sorry about anything. that business with Kagawa. But you have to admit, those views were worth it. True. As I was saying, I have no idea if the house points are actually a factor in this game. Don't know. I guess your house wins the house company. Anyway, at the end, I have no clue. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Maybe I should go do that. Having my own broom is always the most fun. Sometimes it seems all wrong. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. I'll have to meet up with Sebastian after this, I guess. Good day to you. I required assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. That sounds nice. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. <coughs> first things first. Ah, new face. Wonderful. Revelio. There we go. Spin witches sporting, sporting needs. Uh, run by the admir admirable Abil Abili Weeks. Uh, this this shop sells all manner of wizarding sport sporting goods, including the latest broom models. Gossip around town is that Abel himself is working on a number of broom enhancements. Why don't we talk to him about it? Hello, 
Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Albie. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available, ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? Let's see. Let's preview some of these. That item is of the highest quality. By the way, he's going to carry on like this until you buy something. Moon trimmer. Oh, that's pretty cool. He's got little saddlebags. That item is of the highest quality. The house broom. Ember dash. You weaver. That item is of the like highest quality. I like the ember dash. You'll be thrilled with that broom. I promise you. Let's sell some of these. Nice uh, doing armors business I'm with you. Wearing. Cha ching, cha ching. Pretty much just earned all my money back. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, just whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements. Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? <laughs> well, that sounds like a good thing. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Rays will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Alright, just gotta wait there. Over here. Hello there. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment. In the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. The Undercroft? This way. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. 
but he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. I think I've seen ominous in potions. Or was it herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it, and I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets, but this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. Oh. Oh, Dragon Ball Z! Haha! <laughs> Confringo! You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Stick to the targets, though. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses. I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like Incendio. Confringo! Nice work. Nice. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. You'll get used to it. That's it! That's a I think I've got fire. it. Well done. It's got a good range. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. It's the boom. Everybody like big boom. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. I've been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. I assume it's to do with what you told me. About the port key and Gringotts and Ranrock. Nothing gets past you. And yes, it is. 
as I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of this secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does it allow you to wield this magic too? I... I, I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Sounds good to me. On to the next thing. Shit. What is it, like an elevator? Uh-oh. Hello, Sebastian. Oh, wait. You there! I can hear you! Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? <sighs> well, I don't think there's any point to literally lying to him. Actually, Sebastian brought me there, but he made it perfectly clear to keep quiet about it. That rat! You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the Headmaster, and I'm not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Trust me, Ominous. I won't say a word. Why should I trust you? You just betrayed Sebastian. Please. I was trying to defend him. He was clear that this was a secret place and I was to tell no one. He's a good friend. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant- I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. Yeah, well. Something that's bound to happen, it might as well just happen right then. Well, in any case, uh, I think I'll end that episode right there. Thank you guys so very much for watching. If you liked it, please let me know by hitting the like button. And be sure to leave a comment if uh, I missed anything. And I will see you guys in the next one. Later!